Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Um, as you know, I posted a video yesterday of my leopard geckos and my ball python. So today I want to do a feeding video of some of my smaller tarantulas. They're oftentimes a little bit harder to film, so I'm going to go a little bit, uh, a little bit extra and see if I can't get some of this on film for you guys today. I'm going to start off with my, um, what do you call this thing? I can't forget what this is. Sorry, I'm just having to hold up another cricket in there. This is my Vicular Diversipes. And... Nice. Sorry, I just your mind blank there. I didn't know what I was talking about. This is one of the smaller ones that I have. So I'm going to show you some more right now. That's a pretty sweet grab. Be right back. Here we have a green bottle who bolted about last week sometime. Almost time for a uh, for an increase in a cage size, but I'm gonna give it a big meal today. That's a full grown super worm. <laughs> I love green bottles, my absolute favorite species. Beautiful, isn't it? All right, let's move on. This is gonna be a Pocotheria subfusca. Kind of hard to see right there. I'm gonna try to drop this cricket in there and see if it'll jump on it. Nice. Very hard to see. Oh, you go. You can kind of see it. Oh yeah, cool right there. Can't wait for these to get a little bit bigger. Beautiful. Move on. All right, similar situation here. It's gonna be hard to see, but this is Pocotheria bara. And she grabbed it immediately. Let's see if I can't show it to you. That's her right there. Yeah, this is going to be a good looking tee when it gets bigger. They're hard to film, sorry guys. You can kind of see it in there. Alright, let's move on. Here we have a burst color. These will eat. They always eat. Focus. Yeah, good looking tees. I'm always gonna keep brush of colors because they're awesome. Move on, another brush of color. See if I can't coax it out. Oh, that sucked, you couldn't see it. You can see it's carapace there from a previous malt though. Oh, you kinda can see it right there. Alright, well, we'll leave it in there and move on. Alright, so I won't feed this one because this is a fresh mold, but I'm going to see if I can't get this skin out and show you guys this awesome tea. It's a, um, another Pocletaria subfusca. All you can see is the legs there, but this one's getting kind of big. I have a, um, an order of 32 ounce deli cups coming in. Should be here either today or tomorrow. I'm going to rehouse most of these arboreals into those. I want to kind of move this around a little bit. That's going to be risky because I don't want to go chasing a pokey around. But I want you to see her a little more. Yeah. Just have her so gently. Yep. So yeah, take a look at that. That's an amazing tea. Alright. See if I can't get anything else on film. <laughs> look at this one. It's my Chow Hound Avicularia Diversipes. 
I opened the enclosure and as soon as I did it came right out. This one molted too about a week ago. Oh boy. This isn't gonna be good. I don't have a catch cup ready. No, I do. This is gonna suck. Must get it on film for you guys. Look at this thing. Focus. Anyways, it needs to get back in this enclosure so I can feed it, because I know it needs to eat. Damn, this is going to suck getting it back in there. It really is too too big for that enclosure. You can see that's an amazing tea. I think it's gorgeous. Oh god, please tell me if my finger I don't want to chase you. Alright, so I'm gonna pause the video, try to get it you know, actually. Actually I'm just gonna try to feed it inside of this thing. I can't get it to eat right inside of there. And I did. That's some good footage. It needed a big meal. It's abdomen got really small after this last molt. So now that it ate inside of here, I'm just going to put this lid on and let it hang out in here for a while. <laughs> Let's move on. Feed this one, but I just want to show it to you. This is my um, cyclosternum fasciatum. She just molted. Really sweet looking tea, black and pink, can't go wrong with that. From that dull brown to that black right there, it's sweet. So this malt happened last night, so I won't be feeding her, but I wanted to show her. Let's move on. Pampobedius platyama, female, I hope, I think, I don't know, doesn't matter. I think it actually might be a male. I'm going to give it a pretty big male too. Super warm. Good looking tea, kind of aggressive, flicks hairs a lot. But at full grown, will be an impressive specimen. If it's a male, it'll be a really awesome pinkish purple color. If it's a female, it'll be still the same color but not as not as vibrant and they get big seven inches plus so can't wait and this one's growing pretty quick too so we'll see let's go look at another one and here we have another green bottle i think i'm gonna feed it a worm today let's see if it eats it Damn thing's playing dead. Well, it's a green bottle, so you're not going to fool it for long. Watch it prove me wrong. Fine. It will help. 
<laughs> oh, uh, it will figure it out and it will eat it and it will be awesome. Thing was squirming around when I had it held. Oh well, let's move on. Here we have another green bottle. I'm gonna give it a warm too, but I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna give it a pretty active one. Here we go. Nope. Pretty cool. Let's keep tracking. Trying to get this one's attention. <laughs> I love OBTs. Love, love, love. So, I'm going to try to coax it out with a super worm. I don't want her to just like, grab it and go back in her web so you guys can't see. No, come ah, oh, damn it. Well, that was at least cool. Beautiful red on this one. One of the coolest ones I've seen. Take a look at her web system she's got going on. That's pretty wicked, right? Yeah. She's cool as always. Let's go. My fresh baby molted Lazio Dor Parabana. Let's give it a cricket. Yeah. Pretty sweet little guy. I like this species too, got quite a few of them. Let's move on. Happy dance. <laughs> Alright, now let's move on. Early hair, male. Leaving. Will come back because he wants a super worm. Very nice. Whoa. These are nice. I think anybody in the hobby should have curly hairs. This guy, however, is kind of really skittish and runs around a lot and flicks hairs a lot, so. It's pretty uncommon though, take my word for it. They're pretty awesome to use. Let's keep moving. My beautiful, beautiful Brachypelma albiceps female who has, of course, knocked her water dish over like she always does. Bet she's hungry. Second guessing yourself? There she goes. Tell me she's just not insane, guys. I'm really particular with her. Like, I don't mess with her too much because she is pristine. And I like to keep her that way. I don't want her to kick any hairs. Just like her being perfect. I don't hold her, I don't mess with her or anything because she is a an amazing specimen. And an amazing example of this species. And if you guys don't agree, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Let's move on. This is gonna be the last one that I feed, and I'm gonna give a uh, Definitely a special shout out to my friend Sabrina. She requested this one. Uh, she loves teas. And I wanted to feed this one for her to see if I can't show you guys.
Well, it's definitely skittish. I'm gonna wait for it to go get that cricket before I touch it again. Well, as you can see, it's my Pulpitaria Metallica. I was having a hard time staying still right now. I know it's the light. She gets stressed out by the light. <laughs> round and round she goes. When she'll stop, nobody knows. <laughs> it's pretty cool, actually. I mean, you get to see uh, the motion of it. Oh, got it. That was sweet. She finally decided to calm the hell down and grab it. There she is. Pulcletheria Metallica. Need to miss this enclosure again. It's getting pretty dry, but... She should be coming up on a molt soon. She's getting pretty dull. Alright, guys. I will round the video out with that. I hope you enjoyed it. And there will be more to come soon on a much more frequent basis. I apologize for going missing in action. Alright everybody, you take care, hope you enjoy the video. Bye.